beautiful, beautiful Sagittarius. Thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. My name is Q, and I am here to do your general reading, beloveds. I will, everything is everything on your side of the planet because everything is everything on mine. I am going to take a little peeky peek, see what's coming in, what's going out, what's going on with the Sagittarius energy, uh, Sagittarius energy. There is a lot going on celestially. We are currently in this Scorpio full moon. Pluto, which is Scorpio's ruling planet, is in retrograde along with Mercury. And we are dealing with that lunar eclipse, that eclipse energy, along with being in Taurus uh, um, season. So there's a lot happening. We're in the age of Aquarius. So Sagittarius, we're going to see what we have coming in. It's currently 541 on the clock. So that breaks down to 10. So tens are completions. Tens are cycles wrapping up. So something is coming full circle. Uh, ten is also an ending. You know, uh, it's a powerful ending. Um, there were many lessons learned karmically, uh, but there's also this feeling of a fresh start. You being on the precipice of a new beginning. Uh, with all of this celestial energy taking place, many of the uh, zodiac signs that I've read for are all experiencing uh, the same energy because we are all dealing with the same energy. So I do feel there's changes, there's shifts, uh, there's definitely a lot uh, that you will be um, experiencing right now uh some new beginnings definitely uh getting rid of old concepts old ideologies behaviors habits uh embarking upon uh something new something that you are manifesting something that is uh very very special very dear uh very passionate uh to you sagittarius i just get a sense of you being very patient um in manifesting this or in, in uh, cultivating this. It's like you're working very hard to to manifest something or to uh, create to create some sort of change in your life. Um, so some of you all are either honing a skill, uh, maybe you are honing a particular skill, maybe you're a writer. Uh, so you could be just like free writing. Maybe you are a musician. Maybe you're just creating songs and putting them out there just to test to see the response. Whatever it is, is I, I'm just getting a sense of just testing the waters, dipping your toe in the waters, seeing how it feels, you know, seeing what that energy feels like. So let's tap and see what the cards have to say, beloveds. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, so you have infinite supply here on the bottom of the Goddess Guidance Oracle deck. So this is beautiful because spirit is literally uh, assuring you that you're going to be supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. So whatever skill you are honing, I was picking up you working on something and, and mastering it, it's going to provide for you. It's going to supply your every need. It's going to bring about um, this prosperity, this abundance. It's like you are being... Um, blissed and highly favored and look what's underneath that you got prosperity there too so this is like double confirmation from spirit it's coming straight from source for infinite supply so you have the sedna and abundantia so this is spirit blessing you gifting you so something that you've worked on something you are very patiently waiting for it's like i feel like this is the right time so if you take this leap of faith or if you shoot your shot right now you're going to hit your mark so be brave and go after what you want because I feel like spirit is literally saying that you're you're right on the mark. You're going to hit something. Um, you're, it's like whatever you're doing, it is going to lead to your success, to your to your um, abundance, to your fulfillment, uh, financial fulfillment or emotional fulfillment. On the split, we have sacred space, nematoma. And we have this infinite supply. So a lot of you are absolutely like in a space where you are creating. Uh, when you are in that space of uh, tapping into your divinity, um, it is usually a space of solitude, uh, a quiet space, uh, space that you create, um, like your sanctuary. And uh, you're devoting a lot of time. Perhaps you are communicating with your ancestors. Uh, we had, I believe it was... 
Pisces that had a lot of uh, energy speaking to, you know, um, someone who could be going to their altar, summoning energy. So you could be dealing with a Pisces um, or maybe this is just, you know, th the need to uh, provide offerings to your angels to do certain um, certain rituals to create uh, with your your with your divine energy to connect to create that that circle of protection uh, because they are the ones that will provide your needs your wants your desires so I feel like spirit is just telling you to strengthen uh, your connection and your bond uh, to the divine, to your angels, your ancestors. Uh, we have here on the split, uh, I mean on the um, playlist, Flowetry, and this is called I Want You. So for some of you all, perhaps a lot of you are uh, manifesting some some desire, you know, whether it be love, whether it be uh, financial blessing, um, whatever it is, it's something that you want, something you desire. So you could be calling it in. I feel like Flowetry is just saying that, you know, stay with the flow, stay in the flow of things, do things naturally, go with the flow, don't try to control the narrative, um, don't even try to manipulate anyone's energy, maybe if someone is trying to go um, and manipulate your energy, if you're dealing with a Pisces or if there's Pisces uh, that is of significance, maybe there is a sense that, you know, um, someone does want you, someone desires you. So you can be very guarded because I just saw the boundaries card um, just now when I was, you know, cutting the deck. So let's tap in. So let's tune in, tap in, see what's coming in, going on, going on. So we see Mama Ma'at. She has everyone's address. So this is about things being handled fairly as well as justly. So when you do things just, when you do things right, Sagittarius, then you get uh, good things that come out of that. So when you sow in good faith, when you plant your seeds and sow in good faith, then good things come from that. When you plant seeds and sow in bad faith, like doing hexes, spells, you know, creating some sort of uh, bind um, within someone's life through binding them with a, a freezer spell or, uh, you know, burying someone's energy like it, that. There's 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 definitely uh, what goes around comes around is what I'm feeling. Um, if someone has been doing that to use uh, Sagittarius, then they will also receive uh, karma. You know, this is about karma. Um, so just trust your intuition with I want you. Someone could potentially be doing a love spell, someone that could be obsessive or possessive or someone that may be very manipulative, like, you know, that, uh, you know, that double energy. I'm even seeing high priestess or high priestess energy. So let's tap into it in spirit. What's coming in, going out, going on for my beautiful Sagittarius. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. Get a message of peace, power, and protection for Sagittarius. What's coming in, going out, going on. My beautiful Sag energy. So we got a card, a couple of cards that shows themselves. So we have Sarasvati, the arts. So some of you all are creatives. Uh, definitely, you know, utilizing your skills, gifts, and talents. Maybe you're discovering what your skills, gifts, and talents are. Um, I feel like this is a very happy place uh, when you tap into that creative, you know, talent, whether it be painting, whether it be writing, uh, whether it be music. It's like this is a beautiful way that you express your truth, a beautiful way that you tap into your divinity as a divine feminine and divine masculine, which is creation. So you could be at this time, as I said, honing skills, gifts, talents, um, and you're close to hitting your mark. So whatever you're working on, it's like you're right there at the precipice of, of um, you know, just almost like uh, establishing uh, some form of um, expansion. Like this is going to bring expansion and growth. Uh, what we have here is Aphrodite, inner goddess. And this beautiful energy is, tr is showing that you have been doing a lot of deep diving so there's been you know really this energy of uh moving to the beat of your drum now um i feel like some of you all have had some sort of new start or uh something has emerged something has almost it's like that uh that phoenix rising from the ashes uh, so a major transformation or major shift within you has led to you discovering your inner goddess, your inner God. 
um, I feel like something has awakened within you. There's just this beautiful energy of self-care, self-worth, um, and appreciating um, yourself, appreciating your your beauty, appreciating your wise dome, um, prioritizing you now, moving to the beat of your drum. This is very beautiful. Doing the things that bring joy, bring happiness, bring peace uh, with I want you. This is about doing uh, what you, you know, what you desire now, what you want, you know, going with the flow because that's flow which we playing. So that's beautiful. Uh, that, so that's the overall energy. What we have, what you're attracting to you is um, independence. So you've learned to, you know, stand erect, to stand in your power, to own it. Uh, you've learned that your independence is, in fact, that foundation uh, for your happiness, your success, for your strength, for your stability. Um, so you are uh, definitely owning your power now. Uh, you could be single, Sagittarius, and just, you know, dating, out on the dating scene, um, enjoying getting to know people. Uh, but it's like you, you'll you know uh, what what's meant for you when you see it. So it's like you're just enjoying this. You're enjoying um, you know, the attention that you're getting, because a lot of people could absolutely be very attracted to you at this time. Um, it is, uh, it is really a beautiful energy of you, uh, breaking free even from codependent relationships or codependent circumstances. Uh, so this is a new you, you know, look how powerful she's standing, very confident, um, also open, you know, this is a very, uh, open energy. So you're not afraid, you know, there's no defensiveness. There's no boundaries. It's like you are ready for whatever spirit has to offer you. Um, you're also very, very psychic, very in tune. If you look, there are two cats, two felines on each side. So this, you know, cats are very, uh, impervious to threat. So it's like you have learned to trust your intuition, to trust your gut instinct, to uh, be very, very brave. It's like now you know your power, so now you're owning it. Um, I feel like some of you may have someone just pop up out of the blue because we have Ryan Leslie um, out of the blue. Uh, maybe some of you all were in a partnership, like I said, a codependent relationship, and someone could have abandoned you or left you or rejected you out of the blue. But this was almost something that taught you, uh, you know, to lean on your your own strength, you know, to really embody and embrace uh, the changes that were taking place because this was uh, a part of your awakening. You know, this was all a part of your awakening, your rebirth. You know, that dove represents rebirth, you know, so you are now um, in your power. That's beautiful. Uh, look at that. So how you are seen, how others feel about you is with this golden opportunity. There's beautiful changes, um, beautiful things that are uh, coming in. You know, Mama Yemenya is a very maternal energy. Uh, that is the matriarch. Uh, when we think of the Orishas, um, you know, she's a very uh, maternal energy. She represents uh, family protection, love, fertility. Uh, so this is really a sign of, you know, some of you all could be like, like really uh, perhaps dealing with, you know, uh, maybe a water sign or maybe you're dealing with a situation um, that you are releasing, that you're letting go of. Maybe some of you are healing uh, from a familial uh, dynamic. Maybe, you know, you had some family uh, traumas that you had to heal from. And now, when you heal from those traumas, Sagittarius, it's like now spirit can present you and open you up to uh, the new. You know, there's opportunities that are opening up and spirit wants you to embrace the change that is happening in your life because it's going to lead to your success. Like I said, with, um, you know, that out of the blue, uh, the blue deals with Mama Yemenya. Mama Yemenya is associated with the color blue. The blue is associated with the ocean. So some of you all may need to do like a ritual in the ocean. If you have a beach, if you are blessed to live by a beach, definitely do um, an offering to Mama Yemenya. Definitely even include Mama Oshun uh, in that ritual. Give offerings. Uh, do, a, do a release ceremony as well. Uh, clean, clear, cleanse. Uh, purge yourself. I feel like there's a sense of you feeling lighter. 
Um, and there also could be matters relating um, your family. And maybe there's an opportunity uh, to heal some sort of family dynamic um, with that important doors are opening up for you. Or maybe this is just speaking to you needing to leave a situation that no longer serves your highest good because it's next to the independence card. And maybe you've been in a very, you know, estranged or strained uh, relationship dynamics with members of your family who could be very overbearing, very judgmental, um, you know, and just, you know, kind of have a different uh, perspective as you. So they kind of, you know, they kind of judge you harshly and they don't allow you to be uh, you. You know, what we have playing right now is a Mel LaRoe, and this is called Searching for My Soul, and it is five, uh, it was just 555, five, five, but it changed to 556. Five, so that 555 five, five that I initially saw uh, reduces to 15, 15 reduces to six. That's about your intuition. So trust your intuition. Trust what you feel inside intuitively. Do not allow anyone to persuade you or to convince you to change your perspective or to change um how you're seeing something because i do feel like there is a sense that um you know maybe someone doesn't want you to walk through the door with searching for my soul i do feel like you are uh, perhaps doing uh some shadow work or maybe you are going through the dark night of the soul journey uh and with that searching for my soul you have found something and that's why this golden opportunity is here uh because now you know spirit is presenting a new opportunity something uh, that you may have called in something that you have been uh, destined to do, you know, something that you could have been working on, mastering, learning, you know, even if this is in relation to uh, a spiritual career or endeavor or just your career overall or just your life's purpose, path, mission. Uh, I do feel like with this search, you found something that you were uh, meant to do. So that's powerful. So what's hidden in the energy for my beautiful Sagittarius? Let me get a message of peace, power, protection. My beautiful, beautiful spirit. Thank you. And so I just saw endings and beginnings. It was standing up. So cycles are coming to completion. So something's wrapping up. And I do feel like uh, you have to show compassion. Always trust your intuition. If you look, her first eye is wide open. So this is about trusting your intuition. So you've learned, um, you know, uh, perhaps... And look at Laksh Lakshmi is there as well. So double confirmation that you have some sort of blessing, some sort of opportunity. Remember, we saw infinite supply. So there are definitely better days ahead. So if you are finding yourself worrying, you also have that prosperity, abundance here card. It's like um, worry is paying interest on problems that may never come. So change your mind from that lack mentality to more optimistic, to more positive and don't back down. You know, stand up for whatever it is that you believe in. Uh, there goes this body of water. So perhaps some of you need to go to that ocean, just like I said, that body of water, whether it be a lake, a river, uh, whether it be, you know, an ocean, a pond. Uh, being by bodies of water uh, really allows for you to release. Uh, it allows you to recharge your batteries. Um, it allows you to really cleanse, clean, clear cleanse. Some of you need to take spiritual baths. Um, some of you may need to purge, you know, maybe ground yourselves, literally ground yourselves by taking off your shoes when you're out in nature, when you're out on a, a path, if you're walking on a nature path or out in, you know, perhaps um, a nice woodsy area. Uh, if, if, if it allows for you to take your shoes off and walk barefooted, even if it's just for, a, you know, a, a couple of minutes, uh, you'll find that you you will feel so much more lighter. Um, it releases toxins, it resets and recharges your batteries. Uh, you have a lot of um, powerful, um, you know, the, your, the, the soles of your feet, the bottom of your feet. There are some very uh, vital uh, points, you know, that you have in your feet. So when you are uh, barefooted out in nature, it does allow for you to naturally uh, release those toxins, naturally ground yourself. If you ever experience pain in your feet while you're out walking, say you're taking a jog or a hike, and then all of a sudden you start feeling the pain in your foot. Um, if you take your shoes off and your socks and you just walk barefooted, or even jog barefooted, I guarantee you that pain will subside. So spirit is telling you that there's some healing 
that could be done when you go out in nature. So let's see what actually flew out for what's hidden. So there goes the passion that's igniting. There's a passion igniting within you. So spirit wants you to follow your passions. This is about being honest with yourself and doing what you... And so some of you are so distant from your emotions. It's like your emotions are cut off because with that train going by, I feel like there's distance. And so, you know, maybe you have not been living your truth or maybe you have not been honest with yourself. Um, and you can no longer hide what you're feeling because whatever you have been uh, hiding, repressing or suppressing, whatever it has been lying dormant, it is now about to, uh, it is about to, um, explode it is about to erupt even so it's like what is your heart's truest desires what do you truly desire because that is what you are being presented and some of you may be a little blurry a little fuzzy a little cloudy on what that might be and i feel like spirit is saying when you go to a body of water it will become very clear you will receive that very clear concise confirmation from spirit and what we have playing right now is total and big uh, smalls and this is called can't you see so you'll be able to see clearly because spirit is going to give you the clarity as i said that you need <laughs> look at my little katara she's so cute she over there napping in the sun but yeah so you will receive the clarity the water represents you know like i said a deep healing that's necessary a cleansing Perhaps some of you, because there is a blockage, perhaps Sagittarius, you may need to take a spiritual bath. That message has come out a couple of times as well. So let's tap into and see what your outcome is. Thank you, Spirit. So Spirit, let's get a message from my beautiful Sagittarius. Thank you, Spirit. So you got a couple of messages. And look at that. Expect a miracle. Mother Mary. So when you are obedient and you just surrender to spirit spirit will reward you that's why you had abundantia and that's why you also had that card of infinite supply so spirit is here wanting to provide and supply your every need but you have to get rid of something um whether it be a perspective whether it be a person whether it be some sort of ideology it's about releasing something so that the new can come in so releasing the old so that the new can come in i feel like spirit is also just assuring you that you know have faith trust that all of your prayers uh that you've been sending up whatever petitions that you've been sending up whatever you've been scribing in your journals your manifestation journals whatever daily mantras affirmations whatever you've been speaking out into the ethers your angels your guides they have been hearing it they've received those messages and they are going to bless you you know they've been heard your answers your prayers have been heard and they will be rewarded you will be blessed and you will be rewarded what we have here is sell, uh, start delegating. So if you are overwhelmed, if you do feel uh, like you have a lot on your plate, don't be afraid to ask for what you need because closed mouths don't get fed. So people will not know that you're struggling if you don't express your truth. People cannot read your mind. No matter how intuitive they are, they're not going to be able to determine uh what you're experiencing or going through if you do not express it if you do not uh create you know um if you do not express it and, and be honest and transparent so spirit is telling you to start delegating so ask for what you need ask for what you need don't leave people guessing because at the end of the day everyone is dealing with their own and their own i don't want to call it mess but everybody's dealing with their own business dealing and tending to their own business sometimes we get uh, kind of overwhelmed and sidetracked with what we're dealing with and so it is not going to be as easy for someone to just kind of look at you and see what you need if you're not expressing it so I feel spirit is saying you know what the outcome is when you ask for what you need then you receive what you desire look what's right underneath this I didn't even see that see that so expect a miracle so your so your needs wants and desires will be supplied for remember I was telling you that you had that Abundantia and the um, infinite supply card and here it is just underneath expect a miracle so with undying love here yeah so some of you could be very guarded I'm also getting a sense of like pride 
So if you're too proud to ask for what you need, Spirit is saying, cut that out because closed mouths don't get fed. And what you need, it can be provided for. This opportunity that some of you may be praying for and asking for is right here. But if you don't ask for what you need, um, then you won't, you can miss that window of opportunity. So it's like, you know, I feel like if you even call on Green Tara, uh, she could also come to your aid and alleviate some of that stress, you know, some of the burdens that you might feel, even if it's monetary, because this green is just giving me money. I heard money first, but it also could be matters of heart. Maybe you're struggling emotionally from some sort of loss, some sort of pain, and maybe that's what's kind of holding you back and having you feeling very guarded, you know, very guarded when it comes to love. Maybe you're very sensitive. You know, maybe this is just, uh, you know, the way that you protect yourself because you may have been hurt before. Because right underneath that. But I do feel like with this undying love, um, you may have someone that you have a very sacred connection with. Spiritual connection. And maybe there's a separation because the train did go by and I was feeling distance. So maybe there's an opportunity to rekindle. Maybe there's an opportunity for a family to uh, reconcile. This is someone that has a lot of passion, someone that loves you, someone that's also very uh, uh, sexually attracted to you, physically attracted to you, someone that can self-pleasure. But with start delegating, when someone does return, if they do return, if there is an opportunity to communicate, I feel like Spirit is saying be honest and transparent. Speak from the heart because the screen is associated with the heart chakra. So speak from the heart and say what you mean and mean what you say. What we have here is ISIS past life. So this could be a past life connection. This could be someone that you have a twin flame dynamic. I was saying sacred connection, spiritual connection. And I feel like that's why, um, you know, maybe this distance, physical, emotional, maybe even, um, maybe even, you know, communication wise, there's no communication. And we have, um, we have Rufus and Shaka Khan, and this is called, do you love what you feel? So spirit is asking you to be honest and transparent. Do you like what you're feeling right now? Because if you don't, if you feel overwhelmed and overburdened, the spirit is saying, start delegating, start asking for what you need. Start speaking your truth, start being honest. That's what spirit is saying. Do you like that feeling? If you don't, then change it because you have the power to change it. And also be open because, you know, when you're receptive, when you're ready to love, when you're ready for whatever, you know, because with this undying love, that definitely is just speaking to this twin flame or, you know, past life connection. So I do feel like, you know, there is a miracle where some of you may be coming into a spiritual partnership or a divine connection, soul connection with someone very, uh, you know, very uh, sacred, very special. But this is a beautiful message, my beautiful uh, Sagittarius. Uh, definitely trust your intuition. I do feel like, um, especially with this energy past life, you can see she's wearing a headdress. And that headdress only amplifies, you know, those uh, spiritual downloads, divine interventions from spirit. So trust your intuition when it comes to, uh, you know, perhaps matters of the heart. Because that green is associated with the heart chakra. And, and, and this time around, be honest, be transparent. Maybe in the past, uh, you could have been very quiet. Um, Maybe you didn't like asking for what you needed. Maybe you felt weirded out asking for things. And that's something that you have to change. But I do feel like there's a past life connection, a sacred connection, a spiritual connection. This could even be business partnerships or some sort of um, alliance, building some sort of strong network. But there's a miracle here and there's an infinite supply. All of your needs, wants, and desires are being supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. So this is a beautiful, beautiful confirmation. And um, that's your reading, Sagittarius. So until next time, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, the share, the subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are new, I hope you stay a while. If you are returning, you already know what it is, beloved. It's love. This love is love. Till next time, peace.